Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how the Miami Heat have hard decisions to make and possibly trade a couple of players on their roster before this season starts. And that's going to be involving the shooting guard position. And we have a lot of guards on this roster, and it's actually very, very concerning involving Tyler Hero, involving Duncan Robinson, and plenty more. But before we do start, if you guys enjoy Miami Heat content, smash that subscribe button. We upload every single day, and I appreciate that, guys, so, so much. So when we look at the roster, this is the Miami Heat that we're the team that we're going to be rolling with to start the year, most likely. Obviously, you got Kelly Weir, Haywood Highsmith, Kevin Love, possibly Isaiah Stevens, Thomas Bryant, Alec Burke, Zion Pullen, Drew Smith, and Kashad Johnson, and then Bam, Jaime, Josh Richardson, Tyler Hero, Jovic, Terry, Jimmy, and Duncan. Now, this is where it starts. So, obviously, this is our number one shooting guard on the team. Tyler Hero, you can consider him his point guard. I don't really consider him. He's a shooting guard. He's a two, most definitely, right? He ain't going nowhere. 20 points a game, five rebounds, and 4.5 assists. The reason why I said he ain't going nowhere is because it's been three to four seasons or two to three seasons, whatever the case may be, where he was brought up in trade rumors and it just never really happened. And the fact that Tyler Harrell's trade value has sunken after this playoffs against the Boston Celtics. So we have to stay with Tyler Harrell and also with his huge contract. No one wants to take his contract, a player that's making about $30 million. Now, this is the big question mark right here. I love Duncan Robinson. I honestly think he should be in the starting lineup. But if his back is not 100%, there's no point of him being on the team. And that's what the Miami Heat were already trying to do. They tried to salary dump him because the dude's getting paid $80 million. That's that's outrageous. Now, I get it. You know, during the time, he deserved a contract. But now looking back, it's a terrible contract. And I love Duncan Robinson. I really do. I think he improved his game throughout the years and stuff like that. But we've seen him try to play during that back injury, and it just wasn't looking good. So if Duncan is not going to be 100% with his back injury, and he's still still lingering, I want him off my team. And I think they need to find a way. If they have to include a draft pick, do it, because we need to clear as much as cap space as possible. So Tyler Hero, in my opinion, is a lock. Duncan may be a lock, but I'm just not too, too sure with that. And then you add a player like Alec Burks, who during the regular season – He's cool, I guess. A nice rotational piece, 6'5", averaged about 10 points a game. In the postseason, he did play a huge, huge part for the New York Knicks. Kept them in the games for a little bit. Um, but I don't think you just add Alec Burks and not play him. I really don't. So I think he will be a important piece for this team. He's a veteran. He already talked to Spo. I think he will be playing this year. So that's three shooting guards. How the hell does this rotation is going to work? I don't get it. Some players play, may have to play out of position. but And there's still more. Then you brought back Josh Richardson. You could say you could consider him a one or whatever they do with him, but he's mainly a shooting guard. And the crazy thing about Josh Richardson is I think he falls off the rotation. Even though he was playing very, very good, like near the mid-half point of the season, he's finally getting his groove. He's finally getting that shot going in. I just, I don't think, I think there's going to be a battle in camp. Josh Richardson, Alec Burks, Duncan Robinson. Like there's going to be a battle there because there's no way four shooting guards on this team will be playing. There's not. And we all know Spo is very, very anal when it comes to his rotations, 100%. So one of these players are going to be out or one of them, you just can't have them sitting on your bench. You can't. You need to trade these players away. And don't forget, you still have the two-way players. You still got your second round pick and Larson. So you're not going to be playing him. You're not going to be playing Burks or Richardson. Like, what player are we not playing? So this is the tough decision that they have to make. What shooting guard do they trade? Which point guard? They don't really have much point guards right now. It's Drew Smith and Terry Rozier. But that's awful. So we need to do something. Trade Thomas Bryant off this team. We want Stevens. We want Josh Christopher, who is another shooting guard. You get what I'm trying to say? So let me know what you guys think. This is a tough, tough decision for the Miami Heat. But if you enjoyed today's video, once again, I was just kind of saying like all the players that they have to, to deal with that's going to be in the rotation. So once again, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm personally shipping off Duncan. I'm personally letting go of Thomas Bryant. I'm personally letting go of Josh Richardson. And I'm letting the young guys row. That's just personally me. You keep Alec Burks just there. Um, I think Alec Burks may be a little bit better than Richardson. Maybe Richardson has the better upside and defensive. But I, it, it's, it's a lot of questions. And then you still have Jimmy. I'm just saying. But love y'all. Peace.